the ground in front of me right here is absolutely covered with acorns as you can see and the tree right above me is a northern red oak this northern red oak is one of about 60 varieties of oak trees that produce acorns in North America and you may not know it but acorns and oak trees have a huge influence on black bear populations and behavior and we're going to talk about that I guarantee you you're going to learn some things that you do not know about the relationship between black bears and acorns during this video let's go inside where it's a little warmer and talk about it Thanks for joining me, gang. I have been wanting to do this video for quite some time. Uh, I've been compiling information on it and learning more about the topics that I want to discuss with you for quite a while. And I think it will really help you understand the dynamics of the relationship between black bears and oak trees and acorns. And it's something that very few bear hunters and black bear enthusiasts actually understand as well as they could so I'm going to go into quite a bit of detail here not so much about the trees themselves I'm going to give you some basics about what to look for with trees but more about how black bears interact with the trees how they utilize them and how it affects their everyday life some pretty surprising things that are really important so first of all I gotta apologize a little bit I got a little bit of a stuffed up head I've been feeling uh, better for the last week or so but uh, my I had grandchildren that showed up for Thanksgiving with the sniffles and uh, you know what that means so anyway I'm on the mend so let's talk about the trees a little bit to start with first of all I mentioned that there's about 60 varieties of oak trees in North America and we're really just talking about North America here because we're talking about black bears which are only found in North America so of those oak trees, they can be divided into two basic groups. And these, this is important because you have the red oaks and the white oaks. And the red oaks, all the red oaks have more tannins in the acorns that they produce. And tannins are what gives acorns that really bitter taste. So the white oaks do not have as much bitter taste as the red oaks. So keep that in mind. Naturally, the bears are going to gravitate towards the types of oaks that they that tastes better okay so red oaks are easily recognizable because the acorns look a little different they have a smaller cap generally and they also have leaves that have pointed lobes on them where white oaks generally have rounded lobes and they have bigger caps that tend to cover and there's exceptions to all of these rules that tend to cover more of the acorn and here's a picture of for example a bur oak which across the northern part of the United States in the black bears range is one of the favored species of white oaks that black bears really gravitate towards so if you notice that they've got this this uh, bristling or burring around the acorn cap that is a white oak variety known as the bur oak and that's at least one that you really should learn to recognize Here's another interesting difference between white oaks and red oaks. Red oak trees produce acorns generally every other year. They sprout the acorns in one year and then the next year they fully mature and drop. So generally most red oak trees will produce a good crop every other year. White oak acorns can produce acorns every single year. So that's another important thing to remember when it comes to looking for the trees where the bears might be feeding. So keep in mind generally that bears will eat both the varieties that are red oaks and white oaks but they tend to gravitate towards the white oaks more because they taste better. They can sometimes tend to gravitate towards oh, the acorns that have more meat to them like bigger acorns and so forth. The reason that the bears are so attracted to the acorns, first of all they've been doing this for a thousand generations, okay? They've, this has come on down through time where the oak trees and the bears rely on the fruit that the oaks produce. Here's something that might surprise you and it's probably counterintuitive, it certainly was to me 
you know, we had a, a really dry year. As some people in some areas of the state of Minnesota even called it uh, a drought. Uh, it was extremely dry, but we had a bumper crop of acorns this year, which kind of surprised me. Well, I did a little research on this. It turns out that as a survival mechanism, oak trees, when it's really dry, they produce more acorns. And it's, like I said, a survival mechanism where they can just pull on their reserves. They draw away from growing branches and bark and leaves and stuff like that and actually put their energy into creating more seed. So that's why we had a bumper crop of acorns this year. The amount of acorns that are available to the bears can actually influence the bear population. All right, let's give you a little bit of information here about the black bear's reproduction. So they breed generally in the month of June and then they have what is called delayed implantation, meaning that even though they're bred, the egg does not implant on the wall of the uterus until they go into the den. So they're not even technically pregnant throughout the fall as they're eating more food to try to put on fat for the winter. So if the sow that's bred goes into the winter in good condition, she goes into the den, the zygote will implant on the wall of the uterus and she'll have cubs in the winter and then they'll come out of the den with her in the spring. So the better condition she is, it'll determine if she has cubs or not and how many cubs she'll have. So incredibly the number of acorns that are on the oak trees in any given summer and fall can influence the bear population for years to come. When people are baiting bears with really good quality bait, and we're talking sweets and uh, pastries and trail mix and, and meats and things that the bears really love, a lot of times people are just absolutely shocked that the bears will leave all that good food, high carb food for the acorns. And it's because the acorns are what they're naturally designed to eat. So it's not just you that is losing your bears from your baits around the 1st of September every year when these oaks really start dropping their acorns. Now acorns are really high in carbohydrates which is a natural fit for what the bears are doing. They're in a stage that's called hyperphagia which means they're eating huge amounts of calories, 25, 30,000, 35, 40,000 calories a day in order to really put on fat. Some of these bears are putting on five pounds a day to get them through the winter. So they're looking for high carb foods, not protein so much. Carbohydrates can more easily be converted into fat than proteins. Proteins tend to be usable right away where carbohydrates are more easily stored. So that's why the high carbohydrate foods are so good for bears that are in this stage of hyperphagia. I mentioned that the acorns across the northern part of the United States tend to start dropping heavily about the 1st of September, which is typically right when the bear hunting season opens, and it can be really, really frustrating. But also keep in mind that the acorns don't have to drop for the bears to use them. They're very adept at climbing trees. They know where the white oak acorns are. They're really good at just going up in the trees and breaking off branches and eating acorns right up in the trees. They'll also knock the acorns down and then go back down on the ground and eat them. So the falling of the acorns is important, but you'll start to see more bear activity around the oak trees even before they fall. It's when they start to become ripe, the bears know it and they start to feed on them. Now here's some of the information that's really surprising. Bears will travel long distances to get to the acorns. If they're in an area where they don't have very many acorns, they will just pack their bags and go and it's really shocking how far they'll go and for how long they'll go and this is information that we never knew until we started putting GPS collars on some bears uh, just a few years ago and the information that we've gotten from that tracking of these bears has been really enlightening. We have learned that there are bears that routinely go 30 to 40 miles to areas that have the right acorn trees that they really want. Multiple cases of bears that have went 70, 80, even 90 miles one direction to get to 
a specific kind of feed. And we've seen this both with acorns and with corn fields. But we're just dealing with the acorns here today. But that's, I'm planting a seed for potentially a future video there with the in, info about the corn. So how do these bears know where to go when they just take off and they'll travel in a straight line distance basically for two days, three days, walking continuously almost. They'll go 50, 60, 70 miles and they'll come to this oak ridge where they'll settle in there for five weeks or so, sometimes a little longer, and they'll feed on acorns there. How do they know where those are? Well, the most obvious answer to that is that they've been there before and they're part of a generational family or whatever of bears that are doing that. Like I said, that's the most obvious answer, but it, it could be more complicated than that. Uh, it could be that they followed their mother there as a cub who followed her mother there as a cub and so forth. And that's probably true in many, many cases. How it started, we may never know. But I think there's more to it than that. Bears communicate whether they really know it or not a lot of information about where they've been and what they're doing through cues as far as smells and things like that and I absolutely have no doubt in my mind that a bear can sniff the droppings of another bear and he'll say wow he's eating better than I am and follow him to where he's feeding. It's certainly absolutely no doubt in my mind that that's the case and it could be that there's a series of these patterns that he's sort of figured out to get him to the place where these acorns are and I'm totally speculating here I understand that but I feel like there's something to this it's a two-hour drive to my bear camp and a lot of these bears are coming from the area where I bear hunt to where I live to feed on the acorns and this area around the Brainerd area is one of the destinations that they go to because there's a lot of these good white oak acorns. There's other areas that aren't necessarily south but they're areas that the bears are migrating from the coniferous forest areas where there isn't as much natural food in the end of August, 1st of September when the berries are done and so forth and they migrate to where these acorns are and it doesn't necessarily have to be to the south although Generally, there's more oak trees the farther south you get in Minnesota. So all of this, of course, brings up the question, why don't you just bait with acorns? And I think probably everybody that's watching this video thought of that, and I have done that. And I'm telling you, it doesn't work. And I'll, ta I, I'll tell you why I think it doesn't work, and here's the reason. So when you take a bucket of acorns, I gather them up, and I put them on a bear bait, and the bears ignore them. And even when I put a bear bait with a bucket of acorns in an area where there's natural acorns on the ground, they ignored the acorns that are in the bait, and they still prefer to walk around and just kind of graze, pick them up off the ground, and, and cruise around picking up acorns off the ground, then just sit down and eat a pile of acorns. If you've ever experienced a situation where you put acorns in a bait site and the bears actually sat there and ate the acorns, I would like to hear about it because I have never seen it personally. I'm not saying it can't happen, but I, if, I got in a comment section below that I really would like it. If you have thoughts on this, please leave your comments below. So that's the gist of it. We have to always keep in mind that black bears in most areas where there are oak trees within reach will utilize acorns as a food source and generally in the late summer to early fall it is their number one food source. Keep in mind you're looking for white oak acorns whenever possible and the bears know where they are and always keep in mind that the bears know where they are and a lot of us have at some point in our bear hunting we've had a bait out there and then about the first of September it just goes dead and we think well okay they're they're off eating acorns they'll be back you know they can't be that far away the reality is they might not be back for a month or they might not be back till the season's over so that's just the reality of it and we have to deal with it accordingly 
So I hope this has been educational for you. I hope that if you have comments or thoughts on this or questions, leave them in the comment section below. Be happy to answer them if I can. And I, I definitely would like to hear your thoughts on this because, let's face it, this is a problem that every bear hunter faces and it's really, really interesting to understand the value of oak trees and acorns to black bears across North America. Thanks for joining me. We'll see you on the next video.